When it comes to Manchester United's next managerial appointment, there really are only two names on that shortlist properly. That's Mauricio Pochettino and Eric Ten Hag. And in this video, I want to explain exactly why I don't think that Poch is the right choice for Manchester United. This is not a video of me saying that he is a bad manager because he is not a bad manager. In fact, I think he'd be a good manager for United. But would he be the right manager for United? No. I don't think he would be. I want to explain exactly why. Before I do get into it, I do want to say, please, if you do enjoy the video or learn something by the end of it, consider subscribing. Go down there, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well. You get a ping every time I go live with a video. But let me please explain to you why I, as a United fan, do not want Poch to come in and be Manchester United's next permanent manager. And with the Poch story, to tell it properly, you've got to reverse it back to 2016. Louis van Gaal, we knew he was going to get sacked at the end of the season. Poch was our top choice. Poch met Fergie. We all know that. Okay, Poch was who United really, really wanted to get. But we didn't get him away from Spurs. What happened instead? We went and we got in bed with Jose Mourinho. In bed with the devil. We know that, right? And then fast forward to December 2018. We, it's all falling apart, really, under Jose Mourinho. He gets sacked by Manchester United. And then Ole Gunnar Solskjaer comes in. And then what happens towards, of course, Solskjaer was only brought in as an interim manager. The Poch stories come back again. This is, this is, of course, in 2019 at the start of it. But Solskjaer was given the job on a permanent basis only about a month later after PSG. And we all knew that was a bit of a preemptive move by the club. It was a bit of an odd decision by the club to do it. And then what happened again when it came to Solskjaer being sacked, the Poch stories came back again before Ralph Radnick was made interim manager. But the story went that Manchester United did not feel that we could lure Poch away from PSG, that we weren't going to take them take him mid-season from PSG, that he'd already signed that contract extension. So instead, United turned their attention to Ralph Radnick. And now, for the fourth time, we are in a situation where, where we are reading stories about the fact that Manchester United, and now, strangely, by the way, Manchester United's players, apparently, wanting Mauricio Pochettino as manager. This is coming from The Telegraph. I covered this in the live stream this morning. This is coming from The Daily Mail. This is coming from ESPN. This is coming from Manchester Evening News. This is coming from a wide variety of sources, all suggesting that Pochettino still sits atop Manchester United's wish list when it comes to our next manager. And I'm just here to say that's wrong. That's really the wrong thing to do. Once upon a time, when it comes to 2016, if Manchester United had appointed Poch as our manager, as I said earlier in the video, I think it would have changed, completely changed the trajectory of our football club. I would, I would probably argue maybe as well, had he come in in 2018. Of course, he got to the semi-final of the Champions League, I believe, in 2019, 2018-19 uh, season with Eric Ten Hag, of course. Uh, but he got to the final and lost it to, um, to Liverpool. But Poch... In either of those two situations, in my opinion, I think Poch could have been a transformative manager for Manchester United. And I'm not here saying that he would be a bad appointment for United. Uh, the way I see Poch, though, is the way I see Floyd Mayweather fighting Manny Pacquiao. It happened, but it happened a few years after its prime. It happened when, of course, they were boasted around, but it wasn't the Hollywood, it wasn't the fight of, of, of uh, the fight of the generation that we all thought, thought it could be, because it was a few years too late. And that's the way I look at this Pochettino situation. Had Manchester United got Poch in 2016 or 2018, you, you could argue if you want, before Ralph Ragnick. I don't think so before Ralph Ragnick, but the first two, certainly, 2016 and 18, I think it could have transformed United. But now we're looking at a situation with a manager who, if we, if we appoint Pochettino, how many clubs are going to be looking at Manchester United going, oh, man, I'm jealous that we've got that. That, that, that Manchester United had gone out and got Poch. I wish that we had gone out and got Poch. And then if you look at uh, like Jason Burt from the Telegraph here, saying United have been too ca caught cold too many times, they have to snap up Poch. This is where I completely and utterly disagree because Manchester United effectively with Pochettino would be going into the, the, the draw, dusting off the folder from 2016, 2018 and going, this is the man. We finally got our chance. We had our chance to get him before. If we really wanted to get Pochettino before, we should have pushed far harder. Instead, he took 13 months out and then went to PSG. And of course, he's doing an okay job there, but not the job that he was taken there for. He's not won the Champions League. He might be leading the way in the in Liga, but you know, it's, he lost that last year to Lille. And I, I'm not here saying that it's uh, 
I, the reason that I'm not bringing Poch in is, is no titles. Because let's be honest, if I'm going to argue Eric Ten Hag as the, re, as the man and I do want to come in, I'm going to touch on that next. He's won the Eredivisie. It's not exactly the, the, the mark of, of the most successful manager in the world. Of course, he's won the league title in the country he's managing him, but no trophies and the lack of it. That's not the reason I'm saying that Poch would be the wrong idea. But what United need now is progression, is, a, is if anything, taking a bit of a risk to take that proactive forward step into what we need to go to next. And in my opinion, Pochettino would be the safer bet. The safer bet for Manchester United. He's got the Premier League experience. He's, he's clearly worked under a, a board, which, you know, let's be honest, the, the Spurs board wasn't exactly good with him. And in my opinion, I just think it would be the wrong decision to get Poch in when we could get a man like Eric Ten Hagen. Because for me, the idea that we could, that we could get Ten Hagen as our manager with Ralph Randick in as our sporting director, it genuinely, it feels like... It feels dreamy. It feels like the sort of... I might be taking the piss by playing this little bit of a... I got excited, by the way. I figured out how to use my soundboard in this video, so I might start using it a bit. Ah, oh, well, you'll enjoy it. But Ten Hag, for me, is a man who, matched with Ragnik, is, is capable of taking our club forward and progressing our club forward. When it comes to Ten Hag, whoever gets Ten Hag in, other clubs are going to look at that club and go, you know what? I worry about that club and what they're going to do in the next few years. And I firmly believe that if Manchester United don't go and get Ten Hag and bring him in and be part of the United's future, I think he'll replace Pep at City. And I think we'll all live to regret that. And I don't want to watch that. And while Pochettino, look, when it comes to Poch and Ten Hag, I'll do a versus video at some point soon. I'll compare them and I'll say, you know, when you literally look statistically at the, at the two of them, what their strengths and their weaknesses are, there's a lot of similarities. You know, they've both got instilled in a 4 triple three, four, four triple three, not 4 triple two, four three three system. They both play it quite aggressive, uh, pressing style of play. They both have a track record of improving youth players. They're both very, you know, they're stuck to their own philosophy, but not in a Louis van Gaal way, in a good progressive way. But Ten Hag, as I said, for me, Ten Hag is on the way up, okay? You know, he's obviously done well out in Ajax. He's obviously won a few titles. He got to the semi-final of the Champions League. He's doing great again in the Champions League this year. But that's what I mean when I say United need to take that risk. This next appointment comes with an element of risk. But the Ten Hag payoff for me, the possibilities of it are far greater than Pochettino. I think Pochettino would come into Manchester United and I think he would be a good appointment. This is not a video for me slating Poch and saying that he'd be a terrible manager for United because I don't think that's the case. I think he would be a good manager for United. But I'll tell you who'd be a better manager for United? Ten Hag. I'll tell you who's more likely to have that career trajectory upwards because when Poch was at that point in 2016 in Spurs, he'd done great stuff at, at Southampton. He had gone to Spurs. He had made a real impression at Spurs and he was earning a lot of plaudits. And then we could have got him in and had that sort of three years that he had at Spurs there where he nearly won the Premier League. He got to the Champions League final, even without all those resources. That was probably his best stint of work. Those three years could have been at Manchester United. What's happened since? He left Spurs. They got Mourinho, funny that. Um, then he took 13 months off and he's gone to PSG. Has he been successful? Well, no, he hasn't won the Champions League. And that's the only measure of success at PSG in a team that has Mbappe, Neymar and Messi. I'm not saying he's been an utter failure, but he's... He's not been a success. So had Manchester United got him in 2016 or got him in 2018, it, it would have been potched the up and coming, not up and coming, but you know what I mean. You can see what's in front of him and you have real belief in doing that. And now I've no doubt that Poch will continue to improve as a manager and he'll have a long, I, know, I, would, I would say successful in terms of trophies, stint from now until the end of his career. But at Ajax, Ten Hag has done a wonderful job. But Ten Hag has come to the end of the line at Ajax. He's, he's recycled that team from 2018, 2019 to where they are now. They're back in the Champions League. They're dominating. They're doing very well in the area of Divizia. But he can't do anything more there. What he needs is that step up into a new club, a new environment. And I want Manchester United to be beginning, the beginning of that curve for Ten Hag. Because the curve is only going upwards for Ten Hag. No matter where he joins, no matter where he leaves, it's going to be a successful career for Ten Hag. And that's what I mean about timing. Timing is everything in football. Timing is everything in life, really. And the timing for Poch, for me, feels off. It feels not only six years too late or four years too late. 
Depends which way you look at it. But 2016 or 2018, they were the two times that Manchester United could have and should have appointed Pochettino. Now, the mere fact that we didn't doesn't mean that we should go and do it now. Not when a man like Eric Ten Hag is available, okay? That's my own opinion. You might disagree with that, but I feel really strongly on this, that while Pochettino, I believe, would be a successful manager, would be a better, ma better manager than we've had before and would take the club upwards, I think the, the ceiling and the potential of Ten Hag is so much greater and so much higher. And it's the sort of managerial appointment that if Manchester United made, clubs, other clubs would just look at us and be like, yeah, I've got to give him a round of applause. That's the manager that I would want at my club. And I just don't want United to make this mistake again. Time and time again, from Van Howe to, uh, to Moyes, uh, Mourinho, Solskjaer, you can argue, certainly to an extent, we've made wrong managerial appointments at the wrong time. For me, this is now not the time to go back to our old files from 2016 and 18 with Poch. It's our time to open a new file, a new bald file, with Ten Hag's face on it. That's what I want to see at Manchester United. And I really want to know what your opinion is on this because I feel really quite strongly on it. And as I said, I'll find one final comment here. I don't think that Pochettino would be the wrong appointment, but I do think that Ten Hag would be the right appointment. And there is a subtle difference between those opinions. I'm not saying that Poch is a bad manager, but there is a difference between wrong and right appointments. And that's why I'm a big advocate of that baldy guy there. You let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe if you're new and leave it blah, 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 blah. You know what it is, but please, Ten Hag, man.